Right, good morning everybody. It's now 10 o'clock um, and um, we are in a position to make a start. So I'll hand you over to, um, sorry, Simon Gibbon here, Secretary of the um, RSC's Formulation Science and Technology Group. It's great to see so many of you online this morning. Uh, we should also be going out on YouTube, um, so I don't know if any people will be watching us there as well. Uh, and at this point I'll hand over to um, Phil Gill to talk about the day. Phil. Right, okay, good morning everyone. Yes, my name is Phil Gill. Um, I'm also a member of the Formulation Science and Technology Group. So I'm just going to go through a little bit of admin uh, to just explain the day and then uh, it will move on from there. So just a brief overview of the agenda just to start with. Uh, so after myself just doing the administration and things, I'm going to hand over to Helen, our uh, group chairman, to give her a welcome. Uh, and then the first session uh, we're going to be uh, chaired by Simon and Simon's also going to give an introduction uh, and background to future formulation. Uh, we have uh, lunch uh, set at 12.35 um, and then following that at half past one, we've got a poster session and these posters are going to be, um, we've got all of the poster uh, presenters to pre-record a three minute presentation. Uh, and we're going to be running through those and then there'll be options for questions on those. Uh, and then we've got an afternoon session chaired by Helen again. Uh, and then we should be finishing at uh, 10 past four, although we will be leaving this um, chat session and uh, Zoom session open till half past four if anyone wants to uh, continue with any sort of discussions and networking. So on that, so um, we, we appreciate this is different to normal. Uh, you're not able to, to meet people um, face to face, but please do try and take an opportunity to network. So if you haven't done so already, it'd be really good if you could introduce yourself on the chat. Uh, maybe um, make sure your name is correct. That'd be particularly helpful for me for presenters for later on because uh, I'm going to need to enable you to be able to uh, speak later on because um, we've now disabled uh, unmute from everyone. So it'll just be those people selected to speak who'll be speaking later on. Um, it'd be great if you could follow us on Twitter. I'm going to try and do a little bit of a few um, social media tweets as we go through just to uh, advertise what we're doing. Uh, and then just moving on to the general admin. So the session is being recorded, just make you aware of that. Um, please, if you're not speaking, it's going to be easier for everyone if you turn off your video. Uh, so we can just co concentrate on the speaker. And again, uh, something that's going to help with that is if you select your speaker view option. So at the top of the window, uh, you should have the option for uh, speaker view and that will just highlight uh, in the big screen the main speaker. Uh, questions. So we disabled your um, audio. Uh, so how are we going to do questions? Well, uh, you've got the chat window. So the, uh, our aim is for um, the chairmen of each session to pick up questions, which you're going to put in the chat window. Uh, and then at the end of the presentations, the chairman will ask those questions uh, verbally, uh, and then the speaker will answer those verbally. Uh, and finally, I think uh, the only other thing I need to say is uh, at the end of the day, we're going to ask for a little bit for your feedback. Um, so um, if you could answer a poll or indeed if, if you want to send us feedback directly that'd be good this is the first time uh, we've tried to deliver this sort of thing over zoom uh, and we're hoping to do this quite a few more times as we go forward uh, so any sort of feedback and uh, uh, tips on those sort of things would be greatly appreciated um, so that's everything from me um, so yeah just uh, yeah make, make sure your videos uh, not on if it doesn't need to be on uh, and I say uh, we disabled your abilities to uh, unmute yourself. Uh, and my job, uh, just for those who are going to be speaking, is to find you down the uh, down the participants list and uh, allow you to speak. So particularly the, the people who are speaking today, if you can make sure your name is recognisable uh, on the Zoom participants list, that'll make my job much, much easier. Um, OK, I'll hand over to Helen, please. Thank you. Hi everyone, hope everybody can hear me okay. So uh, welcome to our very first virtual Formulation Science and Technology Group meeting. So I'm Helen Ryder, so I've got a background in uh, colloidal chemistry and I'm currently a research and facilities manager at the University of Manchester, working specifically within the Henry Royce Institute, the National Centre for Advanced Materials. So I'm currently uh, the chair of the Formulation Science and Technology Interest Group and it's a great pleasure for me to welcome you all here today. For those of you that don't know much about us, we're an interest group for the Royal Society of Chemistry and we work alongside the RSC in uh, ensuring that we advance those chemical sciences. So we're particularly concerned with the impact of science and technology on all aspects of project formulation 
and we play an active role in bringing together scientists, industrialists, academics, so sharing knowledge and um, trying to address those technical challenges that we face within the formulation space. So we work closely with other interest groups uh, within and outside of the RSC, research institutes and other agencies to deliver events and uh, to keep things moving in the formulation uh, world. So uh, in response to the current situation uh, in terms of COVID, we've had to move to our virtual platform for dissemination. And this is for all events that we have planned in 2020. So this is our first online meeting uh, that we said. So hopefully you'll bear with us and hopefully it'll go smoothly. So uh, we'll keep our website updated so you can find out what we've got planned and what dates um, and the dates on there will be will, will be continually updated. Look out for Formulation 4.1, which will be our next event. So we haven't yet got the date, but hopefully that will be uh, firmed up very shortly. Uh, we hope you'll still be able to network through the Zoom. So, and we're delighted that this has meant we're, mel we're welcoming over 250 delegates. Um, and this platform has actually given us a much wider reach than we're normally able to get uh, for our usual events. So please do take the, uh, the opportunity uh, and take advantage of the, of the chance to uh, network with the formulation community that we've got across the world here in this meeting. So uh, I'm going to hand over to Simon now, who's going to give you uh, a little bit of background to why uh, future formulation was um, first sort of envisaged and what we've got planned for today, and he'll be chairing the first session. Okay, thank you, Simon. <laughs> 